Damn, Adachi san. Already at it, huh? Hey, now I figured I'd go ahead and have myself a drink. You know, booze here in Hawaii is not half bad. <laughs> Good to know. Glad somebody's enjoying themselves. My man, I never imagined the two of us kicking back and drinking at a resort like this. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Better play it cool, unless we want folks to think we're from way out in the sticks. You know, you kind of blend in with the locals. Yeah, actually, maybe you blend in a little too well. You think so? I guess we're on the same wavelength. I was just thinking this hairstyle's got a bit of a Hawaiian vibe. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Maybe I'll get a little makeover myself. After all, what better time to do it? Oh, who would you even go for? Well, then how about something like Kiryu-san style? The man changed up his entire look, yeah? Yeah, and he looks damn cool, too. Isn't it pretty lame to just copy him? Oh, y yeah. All right. Point taken. Sides, I'm older than Kiryu, so anything I do has to be bigger and better than what he does. Ah, but still, what went down back in the Eugene show feels like ancient history compared to what we're up to now. Getting fired from Hello Work, getting roasted online. Man, we've been through a lot. Uh, you can say that again. Everything we spent time and effort building up just... Poof, in the blink of an eye. I really am sorry for getting your agency involved, man. And no matter how hard I try, I, I don't think I could ever make it up to you. Oh, come on, knock it off. There's nothing you need to apologize for. Anyway, don't worry about the agency. I just wanted to know what it was like, to, you know, being your own boss. Uh, but you had everything all planned out, like uh, with the company values and stuff. It uh, seemed like you knew what you were doing. Did I really? <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah? I wanted to put my experience as a detective to good use. After all, there are some things a civ can do that an officer can't. And preventing crimes before they occur is a field that still has plenty of room to grow. I was planning on working this old body of mine to the bone. Be a little more useful to society, you know? You finally hit the ground running, too. Heck, you... You were even ready to take your business to the next level. Right. I mean, my goal was to develop subsidiaries for consultation and security. But that dream's pretty much dead in the water now. Yeah, anyway. No use crying about it. Figure it's better to put one foot in front of the other and keep on moving along. I guess with age comes wisdom. That was pretty deep, man. Ah, uh, maybe I'm a little too good at playing it cool. Truth is, I'm still kind of dragging my feet. But whenever I'm out there, lending you a hand, I don't have to think so hard about it. I'm real glad you're here, Adachi-san. When you came running with Namba, I just... I was just so grateful. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much the only one who ever says that kind of stuff about me. But helping you out makes my day-to-day -day a little more meaningful. Hey, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Oh, yeah? <laughs> And tell you what. What? We're gonna have each other's backs for the long haul. Even if I'm the only one getting help right now. Don't sweat it, because I'll cash in and have you pay me back double. Ha, <laughs> sure you will. Ah, that's the stuff. I ever tell you how much I like Hawaiian booze? Better not drink too much. This ain't survive, so... You're not just gonna add it to your tab. Nah, I got it covered. The bartender and I are pals now. Isn't that right, barkeep? Sure. Enjoy the drinks, Adachi. What the heck? W when did you two get so close? <laughs> Didn't you know? Blending in at a bar is an essential skill I perfected back when I was with the Force. You sure are a man of many talents. It must be the years of experience. You gotta teach me some of that. <laughs> All right, how about another round then? On me. I'm feeling generous today. Sweet! Hey, barkeep, hit me with the priciest drink you got. Whoa! Easy there, tiger. I'm gonna have to take out a loan, but I'll pay you back once my next venture takes off, yeah? Yeah, actually, barkeep, 
Could you just get us another round of what we're having now? Hey, Adachi, about that ask you had for me earlier. No good info's been coming in lately. Oh, is that right? I'm not surprised, honestly. I wasn't really expecting much. Don't be so down. I'll ask around some more. Yo, sup, fellas? What were you two talking about? Ah, nothing much. Just asking the bartender for a little favor. Hey, thanks again, barkeep. I didn't mean to ask while you were busy, though. Don't worry about it. Just relax. Enjoy the drinks. So, what's this about a favor? Or is it something you can't tell me? Nah, it's no secret. I knew someone who supposedly moved to Hawaii a long time ago, see? I heard they opened a jewelry shop here, so I asked the bartender if he could look into their whereabouts. Judging by how things went earlier, I'm guessing he couldn't find them? I don't even know if they did open up shop. Honestly, I've just been grasping at straws. Uh, but even if you didn't ask the bartender, couldn't you just reach out to the person yourself? Well, the last time we met was 20 years ago. Oh, gotcha. Uh, let me guess. That acquaintance of yours is one pretty lady? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Yep, figured. Oh, look at you, Adachi son. Still got game, huh? <laughs> uh, you got the wrong idea, man. There's uh, too much of a generation gap for us to be involved like that. Oh, yeah? Well, back when I was a cop, she was involved in this one case. A uh, robbery took place at her father's gem shop 20 years ago. She was just a high school student at the time. A jewel heist, huh? Who were the perps? Three-man team. We caught him the day after, of course. And recovered the stolen jewels, too. Wow, damn. Gotta hand it to the Japanese police. I I'm guessing you were assigned to that case. Right. Just one of many investigators. And now that same girl from way back then has a shop of her own here in Hawaii? Well, that's what the rumor says. Uh, so I figured, since I'm already here in Hawaii, I may as well go check up on her, see how she's doing. You think she still remembers you? That, I'm not too sure, and the only way to find out is by meeting her. Oh, yeah? Well, in that case, I'll help you look for her shop. Maybe it was fate you came all the way here to Hawaii. Nah, don't worry, man. It's fine. Seriously, you're busy enough as it is. I mean, the bartender's already looking into things for me, so uh, I'll be all right on my own. Well, anyway, good luck finding that shop. You got any leads to make the search any easier? Oh, only her name. Akiko Manabe. Not many Japanese folks selling jewelry here in Hawaii, so I probably have enough clues to go on. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that said, there's also a chance she did open up shop, but things didn't go so well. And since I don't even know for certain in the first place, I'd rather not get my hopes up. That's why I'll just take my time investigating. Gotcha. Sounds like a solid plan. All right, then. How about a toast to Akiko-san's success? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yo, sup, Adachi-san? Hey! Actually, I talked to the bartender earlier. Huh? Oh, about Akiko-san's shop. You had him check whether or not it's in Hawaii, right? Yeah, that's right. Turns out he couldn't find anything. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. But you don't know for sure, right? It's not like he combed through every grain of sand on the island. He's talked to a fair share of people, though, so honestly, I've pretty much given up already. You sure it's not just a bit of bad luck? I don't know, I just feel like it's way too early to give up. I didn't have anything concrete to work with in the first place. <laughs> Thinking I'd find her right away with that little info? Rookie mistake. Haha, <laughs> then I guess this is where the search really starts. 
Don't worry, man. I'm sure she's here somewhere. Now, how am I supposed to say no to that? I'll keep an eye out in town, see if there are any jewelry shops around from now on. Thanks. But there's something I gotta tell you. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, Akiko-san might consider me as nothing more than a nuisance. Why is that? Well, to tell you the truth, 20 years ago, when the shop got robbed, the police could have prevented it entirely. Prevented it? How? A few days before the incident, the police received a report claiming suspicious individuals were visiting the shop. And the person who filed the report was just a high schooler at the time. Akiko-san. Oh, dang. But there's not much the police can do when you tell them someone's acting suspicious. Exactly. Even though she came all the way to the station, they couldn't take her at her word. And to them, she was just a kid. As for her parents, well... And their daughter took it so seriously that it felt like they were accompanying her just to humor her. Oh, so, because none of the adults believed her, nobody stopped the robbery from happening. Well, I learned that Akiko-san had stopped by the station before, when I interviewed her after the incident. She told me that a man would visit the shop multiple days a week, but never bought anything. Also said that he'd look around with this hard, intense stare, like he was eyeing everything. Mm, yeah, that's pretty sketchy. But not sketchy enough for the police to take action, I guess. Hey, the best we could do is have more personnel patrolling the area, and even then we couldn't keep it up for days on end. So, because the police didn't do jack squat, a group of thieves broke in days later. And one of them was the guy Akiko-san mentioned? Yep. He was their ringleader. Damn. At the time of the crime, Akiko-san wasn't in the shop, but both her parents were. They ended up bound and gagged. Now the two of them were lucky to get away with only minor injuries. But the psychological damage took its toll. When all was said and done, and the criminals were behind bars, they eventually shut down for good. Oh man, that's awful. Akiko-san was pissed the police didn't lift a damn finger. And I don't blame her. She played her best hand, but her folks still ended up in danger. That's no one's fault. The police aren't all powerful. I mean, you guys did everything you could, right? This might sound biased, but I honestly don't think there was anything else we could have done at the time. But I can't just look straight into the victim's eyes and say that to her face. Then you want to meet Akiko-san to apologize for the incident? I'm not so sure myself. I just want to know if she's all right, more than anything else. If I didn't happen to be in Hawaii, I never would have even considered it. Yes, the only way to find out is to actually meet her. Yeah, I guess so. I'll try to get in touch with my old contacts from back in the day later. You know, ask him if Akiko-san really does run a shop here in Hawaii, or if someone knows someone familiar with it. Wait, what? You haven't done that yet? Well, I, I wouldn't be able to take it if by some small chance her life was in a shambles. That's why I put off the investigation. Uh, yeah, I feel you, man. Well, you know, after spilling my guts out to you, I feel like I could be a bit more expressive with my feelings from now on. <laughs> Glad to hear it. The best way to vent and get it all out of your system is over a few drinks with a pal. Am I right? <laughs> Maybe so. Who would have thought? Hey, Adachi-san. What's wrong? I've never seen you this down before. Oh. You can tell? Good eye. Don't be like that, man. What happened? Well, you see... I found Akiko-san's shop earlier and decided to swing by. Wait, hold up. You're talking about that jewelry shop, right? I mean, she actually opened up her own place here? Why are you so down about that? Uh, come on, have a seat. Figure I ought to give you the rundown. I, uh, got in touch with someone I knew from back when I was a detective. 
Had to twist an arm to get him to look into stuff. And that's how I learned that Akiko-san managed to open a shop near Night Street. I headed over to check out the area myself. And that's when I heard about a jewelry shop owned by a Japanese woman. Damn, you seriously pulled out all the stuff, Sadachi-san. Even the barkeeper here couldn't track it down. Well, you know, some things you gotta do yourself. It was stupid of me to ask him to look for a shop that might not exist. <laughs> Free of charge at that. Yeah, you had no right to complain about that. Anyway, back up for a sec. Did you get to see Akiko-san? Yeah, I did. I, technically speaking. It seems like the shop's pretty popular with tourists who are in the know. There were a few customers browsing, but only one woman working the floor. So, was it her? Uh, I could never forget her face. Even after 20 years, the moment I saw her, I knew without a doubt it was Akiko-san. But what about her? Did she remember you? Nah. She took one glance at me and nothing. No way she'd recognize me. But that aside, the moment I set foot in her shop, I got a gut feeling that one of the customers was up to no good. Say what? So I figured I better keep an eye on him before talking to Akiko-san. What makes you say he was up to no good? Well, even though he was facing the jewels, his eyes were always glancing up. You know, like he was checking out where the security cameras were. But Akiko-san didn't notice him at all. She had her hands full with another customer who kept asking to try on stuff. I, I don't know, Adachi-san. Maybe it's just your imagination? Is it really that suspicious to look at security cameras? Well, of course, that's not all. Another thing, he kept making eye contact with some other customers. Eye contact how? Well, take a wild guess. It was with the customer Akiko-san was assisting. They were probably pretending not to know each other. One person distracts the employee, and the others take their time scoping out how tight security is. At least half of the customers in the shop at the time must have been in on it. What's their game then? Were they trying to make off with some necklaces or something? Nah, uh, not exactly. Uh, my gut says they were getting ready for a big heist. The next time they swing by, they'll have a way to shut down the shop's security system and an escape route all planned out. What, seriously? I only left the shop after they did. Stuck around, on the off chance they'd lift something then and there. At least nothing went down. Yet. Right. But if they were already scoping out the place, they might strike soon. Well, if you think something's up, I believe you. Yeah, I figured you'd say that, but I got no proof. No one else would believe me. Why is that? There's no way the Hawaiian police is gonna get involved just because some tourist told them to watch out for a gang of robbers. Why would they waste resources mobilizing their officers? Especially when they don't even know if a robbery really will happen. <sighs> yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, of course I do. Now, if you were in my shoes, what would your next move be? The best thing to do is to warn Akiko-san first. Yep, you got it. And realistically, that's all I can do. Well, after the whole gang left Akiko-san's shop, I managed to speak with her. At first, she didn't recognize me. Until I told her that I used to be a Kanagawa police officer. She went pale after that. Then she looked at me with fear, anger, and pure loathing. Whoa. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not much of a surprise. In her eyes, I'm just another incompetent cop. Akiko-san tried to warn us about the incident, but we still didn't do a damn thing about it. We practically let her folks get robbed. Think about it like this. After 20 years, a former police officer pops up out of nowhere to warn you about an impending robbery. But also consider the fact that this is someone she has history with. I mean, how do you think she reacted? Uh, how did she react? She was terrified. And on the verge of tears. Thought it was some kind of sick joke. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I mean, from her point of view, I must have seemed a lot more suspicious than some prospective burglar. No way, man. Maybe you've got it all wrong. Nah. I couldn't get a word in with her after that. She chased me out of her shop, pretty much kicked my ass to the curb. Even told me to beat it, or else she'd call the cops on me. Well, I think I get it now. 
So that's what's got you down. <sighs> I just... I just feel like such a dumbass. I, I should have stepped into her shoes then. Thought harder about how to approach her. Calm down, Adachi-san. What's done is done. But Akiko-san's shop is still in danger, right? You gotta tell her that, man. No, I... I can't. She won't trust me. The moment she gets a glimpse of me, she'll go screaming for help. There is no way she'll hear me out. Hey, how about this? Let's wait till she cools her head, and then we hit up her shop. You and me, buddy. Wait, you're tagging along? But why? Well, I'll talk to her first. Try to clear the air. Once she's calmed down, you can explain everything to her. Hmm... Anyway, the problem at hand is that Akiko-san hasn't realized her shop's gonna get looted. No way we're standing by and letting it happen, right? No, we're not. Not a chance in hell. Good. Yeah, it doesn't matter what she thinks of me. What's important right now is her safety. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now you're starting to sound like the Adachi-san I know. <laughs> I bet I made a sorry sight. Lost my grip just because my feelings got a little hurt. Hey, man, it happens. I'm sure deep, deep down in your heart, you were actually hoping for a teary reunion. <laughs> all right, all right. If you had your fun, knock it off. Okay, okay. Come on, let's have ourselves another drink. Cool our heads a little. Seriously, man, I don't have any ulterior motives or anything, so give it a rest. <laughs> Relax, dude. Dachi-san. Kasuga, you got some time to spare? It's about Akiko-san's shop. I think you could have a word with her. That way I can warn her about the robbers. Right. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I show up out of the blue, I doubt Akiko-san would hear me out. I was thinking you could go in first, be our mediator. If she doesn't listen to what I have to say, then the shop's gonna be an easy mark for those robbers. Yeah, if they actually try to break in, then we can pull one over on them and keep it from happening. Besides, when it comes to crime prevention, you're a pro. Damn straight. Well, if we want things to work out, I need you to get Akiko-san to come around. But not to pile on too much pressure, but we have no other option. I'll be counting on you and your sweet talk, Kasuga. <laughs> Seriously, dude? What sweet talk? Oh, this is it? At long last, Akiko-san's jewelry shop. Must be hard to run a business like this in a foreign country. Right? That's why we gotta tighten security, make sure nothing happens. Hey, Kasuga, stay calm and listen. Huh? What's up? Those guys who just left the shop now? They were scoping out the place before, no doubt. Same guys I saw acting shady. Seriously? Oh god, don't tell me. They already struck. What, what, what now? I'm gonna check out the situation inside. Mind stalling them for me? There's a chance they snatched some jewelry. Wait, how am I supposed to do that? Oh shit, no time to think. Yo! Sup, my dudes? Got a sec? Uh, so, get this. I heard a real disturbing story around these parts. Apparently, some robbers are targeting the local jewelry stores. What are you trying to say? My friend said he saw some real suspicious guys just now. Over at the shop you just left, actually. You think that's true? Did you? You know, did you see anything strange back there? Ignore him. Let's book it. Oh, wait a second. What do we have here? What's with all those bags you're carrying? Huh? You wouldn't happen to have any jewels in there, would you? Just who the hell are you? Kasuga, 
They're the robbers. Catch them! Yep, thought so. Roger that. What's with these guys? How's Akiko-san? They had her tied up, but don't worry. She's safe now. Great. Now it's our turn to stop him from running away. I'll take you down! Come on! Let's get it done! Screw you! Whoa. Take your best kicking time! Here it comes! Uh, Feeling good! Don't get caught! It's go time! Damn, Ooh. that felt good! I think I'm getting stronger! Um... Adachi-san, I called the police. They said they'll be here soon. All right. Good to hear. Oh, is that her? Yep, that's Akiko-san. Oh, knew it. Guess that means you've got her to trust you? Well, something like that. Adachi-san. Kasuko-san, thank you so much for what you did. It's fine, Akiko-san. No need to lower your head. I'm just glad you're safe, really. That's all that matters to me. But I was awful to you. All because I held a grudge over something that happened decades ago. I knew the police did what they could. I knew. But I could never accept it. Not with how things turned out. I guess no matter how many signs point to a crime, there's only so much you can do. I wouldn't be so sure about that. See, Adachi-san here has his own agency now. Huh? Adachi Investigative Services, it's called. <laughs> Lame-ass name aside, he's actually an expert at crime prevention. Like, you'll advise shop owners how to improve their security to keep folks from shoplifting. He's basically a consultant who gives you tips on how to protect yourself and your business. Really now? Hey, what's with the sales pitch, Kasuga? It's only gonna put her on the spot. Oh no, it's fine. I was right there with him when he built his company from the ground up. Always wondered what got him so motivated. Oh, okay? Now it's finally coming together. The reason he's been working so hard, it was to face his regret over being unable to help you and your parents at the time. Even though you told the right people, the police, they still couldn't act when it counted. Time passed, and now here he is, in charge of an organization that can finally make a difference. Well, yeah, at least that's how I see it. Yeah, I should have figured you'd spout off a bunch of BS. Not in front of the person it's about. Come on. Hmm. Could it be there's a hint of truth in his tale? <laughs> well, I mean, lots of former officers go into this kind of field. It's nothing special. Is that right? When you're a cop, you come to realize there are going to be times when you won't be able to save someone. Hmm. And to me, you were one of those people. I am so sorry I couldn't help you that time. No, don't be. Please stop. Everything's fine now. <laughs> you guys just keep on apologizing to each other. So, have you overcome 20 years of regret yet? Maybe I have. I don't think I've ever been happier in my whole life. To me, you're someone I can't ever thank enough. I owe you so much. Words can't describe how grateful I am. Again, Thank you very much. Isn't that great, Adachi-san? And Akiko-san doesn't resent you anymore? <laughs> it sure is. But everything that's happened only made me realize that I actually do miss running my own business. It reminded me of how I felt when I first considered starting one. 
Well then, in that case... What? After we're back in Eugene Show for good, how about giving it another shot? Get Adachi Investigative Services back on its feet. I don't know, it's just... You think... You're doing everything you can to help me out. That's why next time, I'll be sure to return the favor. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. Well, only if it's cool with you. Unbelievable. You're willing to go that far for me? Seriously, though, how about it? I mean, you were so fired up starting out. And now I know why you were so motivated. So... All right, Kasuga, enough. I get where you're coming from. I'll remember every little thing you just said, so don't go forgetting it later, all right? Hey, you ought to know me by now. I'm not that kind of half-hearted asshole, am I? True. Thanks, pal. Hawaii's a trip, huh? To think we'd cause trouble out here. And it's the same old trouble, too. You're as recklessly kind as ever. Can't beat that. <laughs> you sure that's a good thing? Of course it is. You're always given 110%, even if you get nothing in return. I wouldn't have it any other way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> and hey, I can say the same about you, adachi san We're two of a kind. And don't try to tell me we're not. <laughs> what can I say? I'll bet we'll still be like this, even as a couple of geezers. Well, that's nice, huh? Two kind-hearted old farts. All right, then. Here's to grandpa -dum, baby. Jeez, you're already feeling it, huh? Cheers, Adachi-san. To many more years, pal. <laughs>